have a ton of carrots, jalapenos, and garlic right now. Well, what do you do with those three things? Duh. If you live in Southern California and you're used to having uh, little Mexican takeout places that you can go to and you see those fabulous little hot carrots with the jalapenos and the onions and all that good stuff, that's what we're going to make. have a lot of nice carrot tops too. I'm getting a lamb tomorrow so and I've got those two piggies back there that like these too. So they're gonna have a nice little snack from that. Ooh, that's a big one. Carrots are so dirty. My carrots are dirty. That's what happens when you're growing in the dirt, right? So since I was here I thought I might as well grab some bell peppers because I've got bell peppers too, so why not, right? Can't hurt. In the jungle. Through the river. No, you are. You're in the jungle, baby. You're in the jungle, baby. You're gonna die. I dropped one and I can't find it. Oh no, I did find it. Ah, just kidding. All right. Now we need some jalapenos. All right. Let's see what we got here. on this one. I think I picked that one clean last week. Is that probably good? Oh, there's another big one down here. I think we got the beginnings. It's nice, spicy carrots. We don't use any chemicals in the garden at all, but I'm just going to go ahead and give everything a good rinse. And a okay, so I'm going to wash the carrots now. I like to use a potato brush on them because I don't like to peel them, the homegrown ones. And then I'll snap the tops off for the animals. Perfect. So it's slicing and dicing time, guys. So I'm going to start with the carrots. And because we didn't get these lovely beauties at the store, we grew them ourselves. They look wonky, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the little roots off of the bottom. And I'm going to put these in my animal bowl. So all my cuttings and stuff are going to go out to the animals later. I'm going to go ahead and cut these in half. And I'm going to cut the top of the root off. I did it after I cut it in half so that I'm not wasting as much of the carrot, even though I guess the animals are going to eat it. So I'm going to cut these in some slices. So you don't want them too thick because you're going to be you know, cooking them and you don't want them to be mush if you cut them too thin either. So you can find a happy medium in there somewhere. And honestly, I don't care what they look like as long as they're, you know, edible. I do the same thing when I bake. The running joke in our house is when mom bakes, it tastes good, but don't look at it because it never looks pretty. It always tastes amazing. We're done with these. Time to move on to the peppers. So let's do the bell peppers first for funsies. Why not, right? All right, time to scoop these bad boys out. to be onion. None of the animals can do onions, so this we actually just put in the garbage. Okay. 
There's no good use for onion paper that I've found. I'm sure someone, you know, other than like, you know, composting. <laughs> but I'm gonna write a letter on the onion paper. Dear John, as I write this, I'm tearing up. Oh wait, it's only because it's the onion. Ha! All right. You want them this way or you want them this way there, uh -huh. cowboy? All right. There you go. Now I'm just gonna slice these so that you have strings to pick up and eat out of the pickled peppers. Oh, and carrots. Okay, so it's time to move on to our fabulous garlic. But here's the deal. I have this bad boy, which, you know, you put the clove in, you roll it around, and the skin comes off, but you still end up kind of getting a lot of garlic on your hands that way, and sometimes risk having to crunch it too hard. But Mike discovered this little DIY thing about taking the skin off the garlic like magic. So I'm going to show you. And we can put a couple in here at a time. So break this clove up, and this is some of our garlic that uh, that we grew. So you gotta cut the ends off of the garlic first. I don't like a messy uh, workstation, so I gotta clean it off. All right, and then you're just gonna put it in your mason jar, and you're gonna shake it for a little while. I can see it starting to come off. See how well it works. So that one's clean. That's all right. All right. So I'm just gonna cut these pretty much just in half, big chunks, to add into our mix here. Some of these. We're going to move on to the spicy stuff. So, so since we want to leave the seeds in um, because we lack a spicy meatball, I'm just going to cut the tops off of these. <clears throat> I'm going to leave the seeds on the inside and I'm going to slice them in half and put them in. Because I know when I go to a Mexican restaurant and they have the spicy carrots and the jalapenos, I like the ones where they're done in halves versus when they're done in a little less than half. That's all right. Some of the bigger ones I'm quartering, but some of the smaller ones I'm just cutting them straight in half. Jalapenos are cut. Onions are cut. Uh, bell peppers are cut, garlic's cut, onions cut, cilantro. So, gotta add cilantro because, well, you have to add cilantro in Mexican style stuff. Just kind of chunks of it to get cooked up in there. And this will go to the animals. All right, so I'm just leaving it kind of big beefy chunks here. We're just gonna go ahead and mix that in. That's gonna add a nice, a nice flavor. Right? Right. So now that we've done all the chopping and the crying from the onions and the remembering not to rub our eyes after we touch the jalapeno, it's time to cook them. All right, so I'm gonna get these veggies all into this pot here. All right, so I'm just gonna mix these all up so they're mixed in the pot a little bit and also that'll kind of break up the onion slices. Pretty good. So I'm adding a few cups of apple cider vinegar. That's one cup. And there's the second cup. Three cups altogether of apple cider vinegar. Now we're going to top it off with water. So now I'm going to top this off with water, just enough so that the vegetables are covered. Just like that. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of Himalayan salt. 
and a little small little handful of um, peppercorns, just regular black peppercorns. You can see it just kind of fills up the palm of my hand. And then, of course, this is one tablespoon of oregano. I'm going to add that in there as well. Then we're going to stir the pot. Don't be a pot stirrer. Unless, of course, you're cooking. Then be a pot stirrer. Turn the heat on. And cover them. And get them going to a boil. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of avocado oil and a few bay leaves to get this party started. Alright, so as you can see, it's up to a boil right now. So we are going to now turn it down to a simmer. I'm actually moving this to the, the back burner here, which is a simmering burner. The front one, even on low, will have it continuing to boil, but this one, I can get it to just simmer uncovered. Ta-da! It's like watching paint dry. Four of the minutes of your life. Tick away. Tick, tick, tick. Say it with me. Three, two, one. All right, well, I'm glad we checked it in 10 minutes because they are done. So I'm gonna turn this off. And I'm gonna take it off the heat. And I'm gonna stop the cooking process by adding some ice. Same kind of thing if you're doing a brine. If you're doing pasta salad and you take the pasta out, you rinse it under cold water to keep it from continuing to cook and get ready to be cold and do your stuff too. So same kind of an idea. Okay, so I have my pot full of goodies in here. And we're gonna now load up these jars. Now we're not canning these um, because well, we've only done a small batch of these pickled hot carrots and peppers. Um, but we are gonna go ahead and put them in mason jars um, just to, to use over the next couple of weeks here. So, we're gonna see how this goes here. I'm using my little jarring uh, cylinder funnel. Um, I'm gonna try to get an even mix of, you know, everything in there. It's stirred up pretty good, so it should be a pretty even mix. So there's that. So I'm using a little pasta um, grabber here to get these. It's actually working really well for this task. My lovely assistant. <laughs> Starting to chase stuff around the bottom now. <laughs> Certainly smells good. So now I'm going to add some of that wonderful vinegary juice that we cooked it in into each jar. One ladle at a time in each jar so that I can keep it kind of even.
right, so I'm going to go ahead and put these on, the lids on, just loosely because they're still kind of hot. And we're going to let them cool off. That sucks. We're going to let them cool off on the counter. So after they've cooled off, we're going to put these in the fridge where they'll be stored since we didn't actually can them. And there you go. So there you have it. That's how we uh, just made some of those wonderful uh, vinegary pickled peppers and carrots. So. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell so you get the notifications. That way you'll know when we post cool stuff about random carrots and putting them in jars with hot peppers and stuff. Yeah. And I knew. I knew the way you know about a good melon. Name that movie. You're talking to me? Yeah. I can tell you, I know a couple things about good melons. No. Name the movie that that's from. I have no idea. Oh my God. When Harry met Sally. Why would I know that? And I knew. I knew the way you know about a good melon. Why would I know that? Because, I don't know, you've been married to me forever. Bruce Lee and that mofo rattler. Oh, you're doing that thing where you breathe through your mouth. I can see your <laughs> I'm standing right next to the microphone. I'm trying I not know. to nose breathe. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. <laughs> see, he says so too.